So not only is it a beautiful day in general, but it's a heck of a day to upgrade a bike. <laughs> So if you look at her now, she's looking a quite a bit different these days. Now all these upgrades, I'm going to put in the category of pretty much necessary. Now all of them you might consider doing yourself, but I'm going to highly recommend the last one that I'm going to cover. So let's get started. So the first one is just to take care of one of my annoyances. I got these silicone slip covers simply because out of all the bikes that I have, I'm getting tired of seeing the metal brake levers and or clutch levers. So this second upgrade might put me in the poser category, but I guess I'm going to have to be okay with that for the time being. I did not know before I purchased these exactly how expensive Yeti bikes were and that I could never afford one. But with that being said, I did pay a little bit extra for these Yeti grips that I really like. Now on this one, a little bit more obvious upgrade. Because the bike had bottle holder holes, I was able to purchase a bottle holder. So after complaining to anybody who would listen for the past couple of times on bikes, we know I had to change those plastic pedals for some nice metal ones. And I went with the silver CNC ones. Seemed to hold up very well on my other bikes. So this next upgrade hopefully will help out anyone finding themselves to be fortunate enough to be six feet or taller. I had really never ridden a mountain bike for a long period of time before. But I'm going to let you know right now, the handlebars that came on the bike were not a comfortable fit for me. Me being 6'2 and reaching over to grab the handlebars started to hurt my back a little bit. So I purchased this walled stem that gives me a lift of about 5 inches. That should help out with anybody who is, like I said, taller or having back issues. I did also have to lengthen my front brake cable a little bit to make the handlebars work perfectly. And for the last upgrade, and the one that I recommend that everybody take a look at, is replacing the rear derailleur that comes on these bikes. The one that comes on the bike is a Shimano TZ50. You'll find that to be one of the cheaper ones because it's made mostly of plastic. And the story goes as this. On my first ride on the bike, I got about a mile away and then I heard a pop. So what that pop was, was the spring coming out of the back of the derailleur. Now that was part my fault because I never checked the derailleur when I got the bike and I think one of the screws that holds in the actual spring came out. So that would definitely be a high recommendation for you guys to go ahead. Don't even wait and replace your derailleur so it won't cause an issue down the road. Now to get me back on the road, I wasn't able to place the derailleur myself so I had to take it to a local shop. So I'd like to give a big shout out to D&D Bicycle in Berkeley. Southwest Rides in Southwest Detroit where my boys Tyler and Ricardo hooked the brother up and after all of that I contacted the seller and told them about the circumstance with the derailleur and they paid for the derailleur replacement. So a big thank you, a big shout out goes to eBay seller Cheney5377. So again I want to thank everybody who came on this journey with me to look at the upgrades on the bike and no worries we're gonna do a full review on it i just wanted to get these things out of the way so you know your boy's gonna see you in the next one until then everybody have a great night and peace out